Okay, on page 46 in your textbook, Chemistry Made Easy, you're asked to break the following ionic compounds into ions. So I'm given an ionic compound, and I have to break it into ions. First one, let's take. I have MgCl2. So I'm going to write on the right the two ions that are in this compound, Mg, and I know from the ions I've memorized on page 44, that Mg is always 2+. plus. And Cl chloride is always 1 minus. But I'm not done because I need to know how many of each ion I have in this compound. So I look back at it and I see that of the magnesium, I only have one. Okay, there's no subscript, so it tells me I have one. In chemistry, we don't write one, so I just leave this one blank and I know that it's one. The chloride, though, I have subscript two, which tells me that I have two chloride ions in every ionic compound of magnesium chloride. So I need to write two over here to show that I have two chloride ions, each of which has a charge of minus one. So my ions are magnesium two plus and chloride uh, one minus, and I have two of the chloride ions and one of the magnesium. Another example, Cr2O3. CR, CR is chromium, chromium ion, sorry, CR is a chromium ion, and I know that CR is always 3+, plus. and oxide O is always 2-, minus. so these are my two ions, but I need to know how many of each one I have, so I look back at the original compound, I have two chromium ions, so I'm going to put a two in front of the CR, and I have three oxide ions, so I'm going to put a three in front of the oxide. So these are the ions, two chromium ions, each of which has a charge of three plus, and three oxide ions, each of which have a charge of two minus. Okay, let's do one with a polyatomic ion. I have Cu, CH3COO, um, and all of that is subscript 2. So I know that Cu is copper and Cu can form two different ions. It could either be cuprous, which has a charge of plus 1, or it could be cupric, which has a charge of plus 2. This ion is acetate, which always has a charge of minus 1. So let me look at acetate first, and then I'll go back and determine which of the two copper ions I have. Acetate is going to be CH3, CO, O minus. And for the copper ion, if this is a minus one charge, and there's two of them, and the charges bounce out, then I know that this must be copper two ion, or cupric, because it has a plus two, this has a minus one, so the two charges cancel each other out. So I know that this is Cu2 plus the cupric ion. But again, how many ions do I have of each uh, kind in the compound? Uh, the cupric, I just have one, so I don't need to write anything. The acetate, I have subscript two, so I have two acetate ions, so I put a two in front of uh, acetate. 